And it's hard to believe, but that's exactly what, that's the only thing that makes sense, because you're absolutely right. If it's really not educating our children, why would anybody want an inferior product for more money? Okay. You're absolutely right. Um, in most instances, uh, I think we've come to the conclusion, and, and you've helped us get there, that the powers that be uh, find it in their best interest mm -hmm. to continue this type of education and to push goals to 2000 and uh, outcome-based education and, and, and these touchy-feely kind of, uh, of methods. Uh, I know in my own uh, case I have four children and uh, two of them are still in the Montgomery County Public Schools. Um, I'm very, very concerned that um, society in general has created a situation where pornography is prolific, mm -hmm. uh, contraception is being pushed. When that fails, abortion follows uh, as the final solution. Mm -hmm. And of course, by the time people have gone through this cycle, if you look at it as a wheel, with the secular humanist movement having money pumped down these four spokes, um, pornography, uh, contraception, uh, abortion, mm -hmm. but you just touched on the fourth wheel an entire industry that has exploded in the last 40 years, the mental health industry. Mm -hmm. And they may not be pouring tons of money in there, but there's an incestuous relationship between that industry and these secular humanist organizations. They serve on each other's board of directors. And oh, absolutely. What can we do? as ordinary citizens and parents to turn away from this, to get back? Well, I think uh, there's several things we can do. First of all, don't let the educational system or establishment intimidate you. You've got to get a look at your kids' textbooks, talk to their teachers, go to PTA meetings, and find out exactly what your kids are learning, number one. Number two, we have to band together and find other concerned parents and number three, if you're in a county that has elected school board, you've got to get out there and work. Uh, four, I would get in touch with your state legislators, and uh, many states have turned down the Goals 2000 money because the requirements to basically dumb down their educational system are so bad. I think it's around 15 to 20 states have already turned the money down, and that should be a red flag to everybody. When anybody turns down federal money because the uh, Strings that go with it are so bad, that should tell us something. Also, and I think you have to really find out exactly what your kids are learning and discuss issues with them. Uh, it takes, I remember growing up, my parents got a lot of different periodicals and we always had required reading for the day. So they would circle an issue and say, hey, I want you to read this and we're going to discuss it. Now, for many years, I thought, gee, this is a pain in the neck. But I look back and I remember a lot of those things and they really did teach me to critically think. And something that I think we can do also is turn the television off. You know, that sounds like a brutal thing to do, but like for our, at our home, we don't turn the television on during the week unless it's for a video. We, my kids don't know any television shows that are on during the week, Friends or Married with Children. Mm -hmm. The reason I say that is because you have to look at the values that those shows are teaching. If they're teaching it's okay to sleep around, it's okay to, you know, gay marriage is okay and all this. If your kids are getting that, then they're going to the schools, talking with all the other kids, and everybody goes, isn't that okay? Your kid doesn't know to stand up and say, gee, my parents let me watch that. I guess it is okay. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think that's, uh, we have to be willing, and it's going to be tough. There's going to be <laughs> some fights to fight with our kids, but I still remember, you know, my parents, when I was growing up, if a bad scene came on a TV show, my dad just said, turn it off. He didn't take a poll of the six kids standing there. He would just turn it off, you know. <laughs> and many a time I walked out of the room angry, but I look back at it now, and it made it very clear to me what values were good and what were not good. And we're in a war right now, and if uh, we don't start fighting it, we're going to lose it, mm -hmm. quite frankly, you know. And there are a lot of good kids out there, but we have to challenge them to read more, to read good things, and not to waste their time watching three or four hours. And I, I sort of look at it, you know, if I die tonight and I stand before God, and he says to me, what did you do to lead your kids? I don't want to have to say, well, I let them watch Married with Children and all these other trashy shows. You know, as the Lord said in the uh, Gospel, better to have a millstone tied around your neck than to mislead one of these. And I think a lot of times we think, well, that's pornography, but it's not. It can be anything. If it's trashy television or trashy school 
books they're using, mm -hmm. and we as parents have an obligation to get involved. And uh, nothing could be more important to us, I don't think. I think uh, a great number of viewers and, and parents, or especially parents out there anyway, um, will uh, identify with this. If, if you've been to a PTA meeting uh, and you've only seen out of a class of, let's say, 30 students, um, four or five parents there, then you've come upon part of the problem. Uh, if we don't care, if we don't get involved, if we don't challenge these secular humanist and permissive liberals on the issues of what is in the curriculum, uh, if we don't push them away from the social engineering and back onto academics, mm -hmm. then we're going to continue to come in last in the race with the other nations of the world to educate our children. I, I forget exactly the, the year that this was done, but there were six nations um, uh, tested, their children were tested, mm -hmm. uh, and America felt that we would come in first. We came in sixth. Mm -hmm. The Koreans were first, believe it or not, in math and science, in that particular study. And the more that we dumb our children down, uh, the worse it's going to be to try and get back to where we were. Um, it, there seems to be a big disparity between where we think we are mm -hmm. and where we actually are. Um, I know that there, uh, I would love to see a test of, um, uh, that, that an average child took, let's say in the eighth grade or the twelfth uh, grade, um, fifty years ago or, or even longer, and see the questions on that test and see how many adults like less students. That's could interesting. You should, them. Yeah, on the they had a radio program and they just read several of the questions that uh, was asked from this test, and they never told you where it came from or who it was for. And some of the questions were I couldn't answer, quite mm -hmm. frankly. I mean, on the uh, Federalist Papers and different things like this. And it turns out the test was for I think a fifth grade back in 1900. But some the turn amount of, the of knowledge, yeah, the turn of the century, the amount of knowledge required on this history exam, I think you could ask a history teacher and they wouldn't be able to answer some of these questions. But I think the kids, and I remember some of the best classes I had in high school, one was a constitutional class. We learned about the House of Representatives, the Senate, what does it take to pass bills, et cetera. And I think that was one of those classes where everybody, even the kids who were normally screwing off, really enjoyed it because they were me to it. We actually elected a House elected mm -hmm. the Senate, passed bills and all that, and I still remember learning things in that class. But again, it was objective truth. We learned why did they set up two houses of Congress with an executive branch? What were checks and balances? Unfortunately, today, I think if we ask those questions, a lot of our kids wouldn't even know, they wouldn't have a clue mm -hmm. what's the difference between the House and Senate. I still have people who say, well, let's see, Sarbanes, is he our state senator? Or just asking people, you know, who's your, who are your senators? Well, if you don't even know who they are, how can we possibly expect people to get involved enough to make a difference? Or our know? children. Or our children, yeah. If you don't care, important. right, if you don't care, your kids aren't going to care. Yeah. 